Hey guys, this is Corey Gable with Funtown RV of Amarillo, and today we're going to take a look at an all-new brand of travel trailers. This is the 2024 Cruiser RV Avenir 24RB. All the specifications for this travel trailer will be down in the video description below, as well as a link for our current pricing on these. So you can check that at any time without having to talk to one of those pesky RV salesmen like myself that is just a professional beggar. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside. Then we'll come back to the outside. Let me know what you think down in the comment section and let's get started. So this is the view you're greeted with as you step inside the Cruiser Avenir 24RB. And first things first, what do you think of this color scheme in here? I, for one, love it. I love these lighter tones with a couple little dark accents. I think it is just fabulous. But again, leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think since this is a brand new product for 2024. So right here you have your booth dinette and your trifold sofa. Now this one has kind of an extra surprise in it that it will turn into a chaise lounge, kind of like the Salem Versa Lounge. Uh, so that is pretty cool to see that some other brands are starting to adopt that. And you can see that in the video that pops up. You can also see in the second video that pops up that this will turn into a big bed here and the dinette will turn down into another guest sleeping area. So you can sleep four adults out here very easily. I love this kind of accent light there. That is just really brightens it up in the slide out. All of your windows do have the pull down roller shades. These big oversized windows here on the slide out to open the slide in panels uh, windows do not. I do think that this could use a little more lighting in here instead of just the three lights maybe a couple kind of offset just a little bit but that's just personal preference no carpet in any of these cruiser avenues they are using the floor flush linoleum which is really nice and that's a high-end feature now as we sit here this doesn't have the best tv location but if you do put it on a swing arm mount, TVs don't come in these, by the way. But if you put that on a swing arm mount, you could easily see it from over here. And then this is from the dinette portion. <coughs> Pardon me. Right here, you are going to have a uh, 5200 BTU electric space heater fireplace. Love that it's all framed out. I really do like that the TV... Uh, backer location is all framed out like that too that is a really cool feature instead of a bluetooth stereo you know that takes up cabinet space they give you this little portable bluetooth speaker so that is really cool i do like that cabinet ducted heating throughout you've got all your controls right down there so your uh water pump slide awning lighting controls all that stuff's right there so that is a really cool feature as well you have a 15k coleman Ducted air conditioner. Um, I believe believe these may be prepped for the second AC. I'm, I'll have, we'll see in the bedroom here in just a moment. But yeah, this is just this is a cool, unique floor plan. It reminds me of some of the stuff that Catalina is doing. Uh, so I do like that. Super tall head height in here. Probably I would say six seven ballpark but all right guys let's go ahead now we'll open up all this storage and show you what it has to offer in the kitchen space all right guys so starting off over here you do have a little chunk of storage right here for some of those dvds and things starting over here you do have press membrane thermofoil style countertops nice big farm style sink love this kind of square faucet it is pull down uh high rise with the sprayer that just man that is a cool unique look i really do like that uh let's see ah pocket screwed cabinets that is a nice find and then you've got your owner's manual 
uh, sticker right there. Good storage up top. Big window. You've got your microwave and hood range combo there. Three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Oven down below in case you want to do some baking. That is, I believe, a 22 inch oven, by the way, as well. A little bit of storage there. You could always remove that panel for a little bit more storage. Three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. And then right here, you have your 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator that will work off of the battery is fully travel safe and very off the grid friendly. Now there is full storage underneath the dinette. If you take off these top cushions, I just didn't do that today, but there is full storage underneath there. And then you have this massive pantry for all those boxes of ramen and mac and cheese for the grandkids. And then of course you can put your brewskis Mountain Dew and apple juice in your refrigerator there or some steaks and brats and whatever else you want to put in there. All righty, going back into the bathroom. This is a very nice sized bathroom. You do have a mirror on the wall, no medicine cabinet. Uh, that is one area I think they could really improve in. You've got your GFI protected outlet. Nice uh, movable faucet with a decent sized sink down there as well. Good storage there. I swear. I always forget to open these showers. There we go. All right, let's check the head height. So, standing up here, I have plenty of room. I'm 6'2 for height reference. Even without the skylight, uh, they just do the vent fan. So if you're a little taller than me, you may have some problems, but you do have, again, a powered vent fan right there. Little bit of storage and some coat hooks right here as well. Plastic toilet, darn it. Come on, Avenir. But as far as toilet room, can't get much better than this. I've got plenty of room here, plenty of room on this side. And let's see. Let's check leg room. Yeah, that's not bad. It's close, but it definitely works. I also like that they took the time to put a locking mechanism on the bathroom door. Just little, little things that sometimes brands do that really make a difference. Here's your thermostat for your ducted air conditioner and heat. You do have a sliding pocket privacy door right there. Up here, this is not prepped for the second AC. I stand corrected. So this is a 30 amp camper. I'm sure that's probably an option. We probably just didn't order it that way. 60 by 80 true queen bed. And what's neat is you can access the underbed storage right there, which is really cool for like a laundry hamper or something. Household and USB outlets here. Your household ones are in there, USB ones are outside. Nice tall hanging wardrobes here with the simple little shelf there. Window over there, TV backer location. You have AC and heat ducts in here as well. And then in the bedroom, they do the pleated nightshades. So, all right guys, let's go ahead now and close up this slide out and look at it in travel. So with the slide out in, one, you're not getting up here, two, you can get up here. You can get back here to your refrigerator for some EBZ travel stops. But as you can see, you're not getting to that bathroom. You're not getting to that pantry. So this one does fail the travel test and is best used at a destination. All right, guys, we're on the outside of the Cruiser Avenir 24RB. Starting up front, you have the smooth aluminum front there. Powered tongue jack. 220 pound propane tanks. You do have your battery right there. Four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are gonna be uh, manual. You do have a great pasture storage with aluminum bed basing. This is a wood frame trailer. Prep for your tire pressure monitor system and a motion sensor light right there with some handy magnetic holdbacks for your baggage doors. 
aluminum corrugated siding, fully enclosed, forced air heated underbelly. So good extended season use. You have the triple step uh, fold away steps, black glass entry door, large entry assist handle. Got your fresh water connection there. Got your mini fridge for all your brewskis, Mountain Dew, and apple juice. Tandem axle. You have cable and power on the outside if you do want to add an outside TV. Big old power awning with LED light strips integrated into it. Got your square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. And your backup camera prep right there as well. Right here is going to be your, uh, this is your, oh, this is 50 amp. Okay, so this must be prepped for the second AC. Cold water spray port, got your city water, black tank flush, and cable and power, or a cable inlet right there. You have your six gallon gas and electric water heater right there, plus your dumps for your black and gray holding tanks. Single slide up, rack and pinion style gearing, prepped for solar. So this does not have a package already on the roof. And then this is the other side of your pass-through storage. And it's a fully walkable roof, by the way. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2024 Cruiser Avenir 24RB. Let me know what you think about this camper down in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, we've got more Avenirs coming. So if this is in the right floor plan for you, we've got thousands of RVs, hundreds at my location, that... Uh, might best fit you but at fun town rv we don't do any of those pesky hidden dealer fees and we have the best products best selection and the best pricing around so we hope to see you out here at fun town rv very soon we'll see you on the next one